Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Korean Atlanta Mentorship. And uh, in a previous video, we talked about one childhood phrase that um, I talked about that will probably hold you down, which is don't talk to strangers. But in order for you to make money, you have to talk to many, many people, many, many strangers who you're going to offer a product or service to. They may or may not be interested. And in fact, you might have to talk to a lot of them uh, in order to find the people who are interested in your product or service, which is called marketing, right? Marketing and sales. So marketing is the act of attention getting. You need to find the random strangers who are the, the, the best fit or demographic for your product or service, right? In order to do that, you have to talk to strangers. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about another uh, childhood phrase that that you may or may not have heard, but I certainly he heard it in my childhood, is that you're just trying to seek attention. Have you ever heard of that before? Heard that phrase where you're just you're trying to get other people's attention, you're trying to get other people to notice you, um, and then they just kind of bring you down by something that'll deflate uh, you to tell you, hey, you know, you don't really matter. You're just trying to seek attention, right? And this is one of the big killers of your dreams and ambitions because what this is going to do if you actually accept the programming is you're going to just wait for somebody to recognize you. And this is what happens with a lot of people with their jobs. I'm going to be I'm going to wait to be uh recognized uh to be promoted at at, at my job or whatever and anybody knows that if you really want a promotion to raise just go find another job, right? So, so I'm not going to go too much into that, but the issue is, is that a lot of people um, were taught by the system, friends, family members, even well-being people, that we shouldn't try to seek attention to ourselves. But in order for us to make money and offer products and services to the marketplace and do marketing, we have to get attention, Right. And I remember I read this uh, this class or um, I read this textbook and I took this marketing class and the teacher was like, the information age has ended. We are in the attention age. Right. And I thought that was so brilliant because why is it that I never tried to get attention or do YouTube until recently? It's because I had it ingrained in my head that trying to get attention is bad. Right. Trying to cultivate and create some buzz or noise is is bad because you know of the negative connotation of me just trying to get attention but if you don't try to get attention how are people going to give you your money how are people going to know about your products or service in the marketplace you know they, uh, they can't and so that's why you have to in your you know most ethical capacity try to get the most attention possible um in order to get rich or whatever your goal is you know it doesn't have to always be about money but that that's what I'm trying to do here, which is why I create the videos with the thumbnails and, and hopefully um, the things that I talk about resonate with you. But I do try to get attention. Not not going to lie about that. And I actually like it when, you know, I get the ha hater comments um, because it's like, yes, I'm getting every other people's attention. Because here's the funny part. When um, I started this channel. I didn't expect it to kind of get the following in a short amount of time. I thought I had about like 200 followers or subs in about like three months, right? I, I literally thought that, and now I got like over 1,200. And so the the thing that kind of tipped me off the most, actually it was two things. One is fans telling me how, that this is going to be big. The other thing is the haters, because I was like, whoa, if I got haters, that means like I'm going to be big. Now, not all haters... Are, is a good sign i don't think it is but i kind of had a feeling whoa like people are really affected by the things that i say because i'm trying to get attention right so you know there's going to be a group of people who are going to be like really um pleased or be, be a big fan of the things they talk about like velocity banking like to me like that's that's a that's an easy thing right it's not a big deal but then to some people they've been writing in the comments like this is the worst thing ever and it's like wow this is like I'm getting the I'm getting attention. The people are emotionally charged, and if people are emotionally charged, then they're they're invested. And I gotta learn how to like cultivate more attention, right? Get better thumbnails, get better, probably get better editing. I don't know. Maybe one day I'll get to a point where I hire a professional editor. But the point is, is that in order for this YouTube channel to grow, I always have to seek attention.
right? I always have to cultivate attention. And one of the reasons I never did it, let's say 10, 15 years ago, is just because I had it ingrained in my head that um, trying to get attention from strangers or other people is a totally bad thing. And I shouldn't talk to strangers. But you definitely got to do that or else are you going get to mo- get to, get their money. It's either you pay or you as an individual do your best to talk to as many strangers as possible or maybe you hire a marketing firm, marketing company to do it for you and you have to pay them a lot of money too. So you say you do it yourself or you pay someone else to do it, right? And right now I'm just going to use a free tool. So who knows, maybe in the future I might pay someone else to do the marketing for me and talk to strangers and get attention. But you do have to seek attention from other people. Again, be aware the information age is ended. This is the attention age. Nobody cares about information anymore. So I kind of want to do both, right? I want to get your attention and give you the best information as I can as, as possible and hopefully put you in a better spot and also for me to make some money too. All right. So it's Korean Atlanta Mentorship. If you're interested in joining a group, go ahead and click the Google Form link below. Hope I got your attention so that you do click the link. And uh, you know, if you're interested, we'll get a one-on-one Zoom call. All right. Have a great day, everybody, and we will speak next time.